Questions, please? You look at Saturday's game, uh, the way you rotated guys, particularly right guard and center. Was there an element of sort of uh, an audition or tryout for those guys to kind of make their case as the season goes on? Well, yeah, I think, I think the one thing that this line has is uh, they understand there's competition. And, uh, you know, every day they come to practice, you know, it's a chance to uh, compete. And, and uh, you know, they all want to play, but, uh, you know, they got to understand that, hey, you know, the next guys that got to be ready to play. Would you expect to see or use less of that rotation as the season goes on? Uh, you know what? I, I, I don't mind rotating as long as, uh, you know, the guys rotating, you know, they're, they're, they're starter level and competing and, and doing the right things. Is this an especially competitive week of practice, uh, you know, given the struggles that Pat and the players have talked about the last couple of weeks? You know, I think every week is. You know, I don't, I don't know if there's a week you get playing this ACC conference that isn't a battle. You know, we're, we're, we're uh, going on the road, playing in a hostile environment in a dome and looking forward to a challenge. Do you feel like you've settled on Alex as the, as the answer for now, right tackle? You know, it, it, every week there's competition, you know, and, and that's the thing that uh, is true in, in any position, you know, and that's what, uh, you know, this line has is, is some competition and depth and guys are competing to, uh, you know, get, get, their, get reps and, and uh, you know, be part of it on the field. Mike Hernan had to play defense against Georgia Tech and then goes back to the offensive line. How's he kind of handled, you know, having to do both, especially the last two weeks? Sure, sure. Mike's done a great job, you know. That's one thing, uh, you know, and credit to him is, is uh, you know, his ability to just uh, uh, be in the, the, the shoes where he's at, you know, and that's, uh, you know, that's being a tough physical lineman, whether it's offense or defense. Have you had someone switch positions as much as he has, uh, not just this year, but you know, sort of throughout his career? It seems like he sort of just goes uh, wherever you guys need you him. You know, to. I've had I've had guys mix between tight end and guard and <clears throat> and uh, that position, uh, and maybe tackle tight end a little bit, but uh, uh, not not from one side to the other quite like Mike has. How has Brandon Hodges, you know, made his transition? And how has he been progressing since training camp? You know, he's added competition and depth, and that's that's the one thing why we brought him here was to, you know. Uh, have an a older guy who's been around a little bit and create competition. Jimmy Morrissey you know, won the battle coming out of camp. He rotated a little bit with Connor. What are the things that you're looking to, for Jimmy to be better at going forward? You know, uh, Jimmy is a very det detailed, uh, uh, very smart, tough player. And, and uh, you know, he, he does a great job. But, but also, you know, uh, you know, he's a freshman, you know, and, and freshmen still have uh, – uh, make freshman mistakes, and, and uh, you know he's got to understand the importance of that uh, center role, and and uh, Connor Connor does also, you know, and that, that creates uh, competition between those two. What does Brandon have to do to get more playing time? Um, Brandon Hodges. Well, you know he's he's still working on uh, learning and continuing to grow in uh, the system, you know. Let's go back to Herndon for a second. What is he doing well at right guard that you guys have wanted to get him? In there as much as you have. You know, Mike. My, my, Mike. The one thing he is, he's a he's a strong, big guy who, who plays with strength and and power, and and uh, you know that's that's one element you need to have in a run game is is uh, you know Dorian Johnson. One thing he had was explosive power in that interior, and that's you know what you're looking for, being able to move guys inside. How much does it help that he's been here as long as he has? And, you know, despite well, changing yeah. the position. Yeah, that's the thing I tell all those young guys. You know. You know, most most linemen do red shirt, and you know whether you know their first year is like eighth grade, you know, when they're young guys, and then their freshman year is like a red shirt year, you know. So there's a progression that takes time for guys and linemen to develop. How's Brian's transition to left tackle kind of gone these first few games? You know, it's, it, 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 it takes time. You know, just the timing and and uh, punching and the timing of all those things take a lot of time. And uh, you know, he he works very hard at it, and and. Uh, you know, you can see improvement as, as games go on. Still give up three sacks, but did you feel like last week there were more times when Max had a clean pocket and was able to throw the ball downfield? Well, it's just like any stat, you know. The linemen get all the, the, the you know, negativity. It is, it's a whole thing, but, yeah, you know, the, the, the pockets and the timing seem pr pretty clean, and, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, you're, you're judged on that, and, and whether they come from different spots or whatever, you know, it's a whole whole team effort, but uh, we know our job is to protect the quarterback, and we take that very serious. Do you feel like your position's kind of the, the scapegoat? A lot no, of times? no, no. That's just that's just the nature of it, and and uh, we understand that uh, no matter what, we gotta uh, 
you know, battle our, uh, you know, tails off to keep that quarterback clean. Do you guys maybe try to take things personal when things don't go? Oh, so absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's the nature of any competitor, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a minus yardage play or sack, it's, it's, uh, it's personal, you know, and, and uh, uh, our guys feel that and they know the urgency to, to go compete and get better. What, what, how does that manifest itself, taking it personally? Are they, are they, you know, hard on themselves? Are they hard on you? Are you hard on them? I think any guy, you know, it, you know when, you, when you don't uh, do some things, uh, you know, as an individual, which then carries over as a whole group, you know, you do take it personal and you want to go back out and that's what makes practice fun. You know, the ability to go out on a Tuesday and have a hard working day and, and grind at the details and, and compete to get better. Just practice fun today? Oh, absolutely. You know, you always feel, you know, when, you, when you're sweaty and, and uh, physically worn out, you know, you, you feel like you've accomplished something. Now you go back and look at the film and, and uh, critique it.